well, morning. It's uh, a day to take the uh, six-wheel drive with the eight-wheel drive behind it. The uh, my dealer, TTMI or a sponsor, who uh, actually provided me this thing is going to change the chains for me, or at least they're changing some of the front idlers, and uh, they're going to tension up the rest for me because I'm lazy and I need a haircut pretty bad too. We've got three days out and about, so uh, we're going to see if I can get a haircut during that time. And uh, also see if we can get some footage for some people that are filming a documentary. We'll see how that all goes. It's 7.30 in the morning at the moment, and uh, I'm tired. But I need to get on the road fairly soon. This has got to be a TTMI fairly soon. Now, most of my camera gear is all packed. So uh, we're just going to... Uh basically do this as a cut or a jump cut I'm letting the engine warm up at the moment um, we've got about a half hour to drive and uh, to get this done we'll talk more once we're there all right well I'm here I'm gonna duck across the road over here gonna unload the Argo and uh, drop it off to him see how we go well, that was far easier than I thought. The guys come out and helped me uh, unload it. Pulled the two pins, rolled it off the back, and they've taken it. So, uh, not even any video to show. Although, I think I left my GoPro running. We'll see if I've got a bit on that. But we'll see once I get back, because in miracle of editing, you'll see it here. Long story short. Anyway, um, I need breakfast. It's about 8.30, nearly 9. Need something to eat. All right, breakfast. Something called chicken parma wrap and a couple of um, chicken salted, um, we're gonna say potato scallops. That's gonna trigger people, potato cakes. So uh, I'm gonna eat. And uh, like any other good sponsor, they've dropped me a couple of free stickers on the way as well. They're doing me a very good deal on this service, so, uh, because they know these stickers show up in all my videos. Uh, these guys do actually genuinely look after me. And in terms of servicing and stuff, Every time I show up, they're always polite, they're happy to see me, they're very friendly, they know me by name, I don't have to tell them who I am. I'm quite happy about that, they really do look after me. Anyway, um, I think there's an IGA over there. I think I'm going to go and find myself some stuff to put in the fridge. Alright, we got some supplies. All right, well, I uh, got down my road down the road about an hour or so, and I'm at my next location. I've got a uh, handful of uh, coins here for the coin-operated showers. I'm gonna have an easy camp for the ne for the next night, uh, largely because I came down with a case of gout this morning. I think it's, uh, it was all the walking around town I did uh, with my daughter. We took a train trip and went to the next town over and backpacked it for a day. More walking than I've done in a long time, uh, in large because of the multiple sclerosis. Um, and I was a few days post-infusion, which means walking's easy enough and the weather was good, so I uh, took advantage of it. I'm paying for it now. Um, I can barely walk. My big toe's killing me. And uh, legs are a little wobbly today. I'm not sure if that's magnesium and potassium or if it's MS. I don't know. Either way, I'm getting a little warm, so I'm going to have a shower. Um, and I need to run the engine a bit more, keep the batteries up to charge. The solar is not so great today, even though you can see a bit of clear sky there, it's still a bit down. So if I want to run aircon tonight, I'm going to need to keep the batteries up. So I'm going to have a bit of a cruise around town, charge batteries up and show up at a campsite. All right, well, I'm set up camp, found a local IGA. That banana's on special for a buck a bag. That was worth it. And I really needed some potassium. Um, mostly because I ran out of coltracine and I've got a dose of gout so I need a bit of magnesium and a bit of potassium um, I was looking at electrolyte powder that's pretty heavy in potassium they wouldn't sell it over they don't sell potassium over the counter partly because if you overdo it you can kill yourself um, or you can stop your heart anyway um, so yeah I've, I've got some of those solutions sorted inflammation in my toe is uh, coming down a bit but Certainly pushing the clutch and driving up in the hills is not an option right now. So I've learned with this, stop, hydrate, and not push myself too hard. 
missed out on my haircut. I'm going to have to wait till Friday for that. And I think Saturday I'm going flying, so <laughs> it's going to be a busy week. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got some Turkish bread here too I brought with me and some garlic. And I think I've got the gas toaster somewhere, so that'll be fun. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to relax for a bit. It's a good, open, flat, grassy site. I'll throw a bit of video in here for you. Had a look at the rain radar we can probably see down here some darker clouds barreling down over the mountains so i'd estimate i've got about an hour and a half or so till it gets here if it still has some steam when it does so i think i'm going to break out the kidney cup boil a bit of water make myself a meal Mix it right. Oh, that went down well. Now it's time for the kitchen sink. And fill this up with water.
Oh, got a bit of thunder. Gonna be a fair way off. Just as I started recording too. Well, no thunder, we got a bit of lightning. Anyway, it's raining. There we go. It's raining and it's nice gentle rain. It's not blowing in sideways. Ooh, that was a big strike. So yeah, we're probably gonna be shutting the doors soon. All right, for the sake of experimenting, I'm gonna try plugging a few things in. <laughs> Here we go. Let's put our dollar coin in. And we're charging. All right, well the predicted rain's coming through. Time to batten the hatches and uh, enjoy a movie or two. It's just getting dark now anyway, so not bad timing. But yeah, I'm really happy to see a bit of rain. Putting about 20 amps back into the battery, plus about another 10 off the solar because the sun's not all the way up yet. I've had a chat to the next caravan park, and I think I know where I'm going. It's right by water, and they're okay with the eight wheeler. I was going to do a high country today, but uh, not going to happen for a number of reasons. With the rain last night, the tracks up there, I know them well. They will be slick. That's going to be a bit of a problem. And it's also, it's rocky rivers with really steep sides. So when you get rain, it usually takes, you know, 12, 20, between 12 and 20 hours to come down the hill and then it rises really quick. So there's a potential that I'll do a river crossing down there that I need to to get the site and the river will come up. Um, so I'm gonna opt for some relaxation and I'll do some research online when I'm there and I might go for a float to see how we go. Well, this is a nice little spot. I can just roll straight down into the water. Too good. I'm going to be a little bit careful where I go. Some places that are off limits. But yeah, it's not bad.
room happening. Should see it in 48 seconds. Alright, we're going to go for a uh, short little excursion, see what it's like down there. Okay, I was warned not to get bogged out here, and uh, <laughs> I think I understand why. That looks like some deep ruts, and uh, this thing's weakness is bellying out. I think we're going to err on the side of caution and go around that. Wow. <laughs> okay, motorbikes have been in here by the looks. Okay, so this tells me that people do very famously get bogged here. That here's a crazy deep bog hole. Definitely glad I didn't bring the Ambo down here. Well, the chains are definitely a lot better. They're not slapping and whacking under things anymore, which is nice. I think somebody's camping over there. <laughs> I might go check out what that is. <laughs> I think somebody's stuck. <laughs> oh shit. They stuck good. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so here I could help drag him out. <laughs> oh shit. Oh well. If they're not here, I can't help them. Alright, so there's a big bog hole here that lots of people have been through. I think we'll take the drier looking bit. go for a dip later on. I've been snoozing for a couple of hours with the aircon on. After I did my recon, I took the uh, drone back out again. Looks like those guys that got bogged, they got themselves out. I think it's probably shower and dinner time. De-stressing stuff, you end up with a lot of time where you don't know what to do. So, uh, I'm just gonna take it by ear for a bit. All right, so shower's done. The boiling vessel is just about to boil. I can hear it rumbling. Time to pick out a meal. I know you can tear these off, but it never seems to work right for me, so one and three quarter cups of boiling water. It's about one. It's 
You gotta stir it up in the corners nice and good. Well, I found I bought some dairy soft. I figured rather than um, toast some stuff tonight, which is likely to burn myself uh, given the the way I am at the moment and also my ability to form cogent, coherent sentences. That was more of an effort than usual to say that. I think I'm just going to butter some bread. And room temp was just a little bit too much. But um, too spreadable versus not spreadable at all is uh, probably preferable, I guess. Found myself a, um, a Calypso today. They're hard to find these days. This my end of the world anyway. So, um, let me have this as well. It's still very hot, but it's probably almost time to, uh, to eat it. It's the time of day where I start to lose my ability to function. Alright, and now we eat. See you in a minute. Alright, these guys are looking for a feed. Oh, here you go guys. Decided to sit out for an evening and had the cleaning crew arrive to help to clean up my uh, my mess tray. Uh, 6 a.m. rainfall. Yay. Alright, well, I'm awake. It's daylight. It clearly rained. I forgot to put my chair away last night. I did tarp up the Argo though. So my chair out there is wet. But I uh, didn't plan on sitting on that anyway. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking about going for a drive in the Argo soon. But I'm also not alert in the slightest. So, uh, yeah. Ah, I've spotted an interesting buddy down here. This guy. Pretty sure is an Eastern Rosella. Ah, we've got somebody else joining the pack. <coughs> this. I'm pretty sure this is a female Crimson Rosella. Meanwhile, skeptical Rosella is still very skeptical. Ah, uh, cup of tea time. Yeah, I got this guy too. I think he's what they call a feral dove. They're an introduced species. Ah, uh, this is more my kind of day. Cool, wet and overcast. civilization at some point I want to see about crossing up here and I think I probably can at the moment Yet, I've got to take the extension lead out. All right, it's the extension lead unplugged. And I'm suffocating because I'm fat and my belt is too tight. Let's adjust everything. Oh, that's better. Now we let everything warm up a little bit. Successfully checked out. We can get on the road now. We stopped at a stop off. Oh, shut up. Stopped at our next destination, or our midway destination. We're gonna go find some food. 
I could cook something. I don't have a huge amount of money, but I get paid tomorrow. And I just like the food here. So I gotta go find something there. I'm starting to wonder what the point of this whole video was. I uh, don't recall now. It's just one of these vlog things. Really gonna lose some weight one day every time I get in and out of this. All right, fresh air cut. Oh, I've been needing that for a couple of weeks now. Oh. And the barometric pressure is changing, and the temperature's dropped, and I'm as tired as hell now. I'm thinking heading home is on the books. I'm gonna do one more stop off, up out of Meg on the way home. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day or a weekend or a trip. Whatever you call the end of this. Anyway, we'll be back. Uh, almost there. I'm actually kind of looking forward to being home now. Pretty damn tired. But I think that's because some of the stress has finally eased up.